Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 My Team Guru Mode here today for part 12 for the Qatar Grand Prix for what is another sprint weekend for us we'll get into that in a minute but first we have our first regulation change of the career mode going in the aero and the durability now I remember I said at the start of the series that I'd be doing all of this in the background and the last couple of rounds I'd been saving the R&D points just in case something like this happened so we had enough points to literally save everything so going into next season we may be in a good position but into qualifying then we've come to the very end our last lap in qualifying you can see where we currently stand we've found a second just over a second and we're going to start inside the top 10 let's go to sprint race Forget pit stops, forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. Let's run you through the drive the grid order for today's exciting sprint. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Norris, Perez, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Brown, Magnussen, Ocon, Albon, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Fittipaldi, Joe, Sonoda, Bottas, Sergeant, Bottas. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. So here we go then to our third sprint race of the career mode in the season we're racing here in Qatar and we've got an unbelievable start we've cut in our way through the middle of the Red Bull and the Aston Martin and now we try and swoop round the outside of everyone in the first corner we go up the inside of the Red Bull and from ninth place we're up into P4 there's just a front of us the McLaren of Lando and the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton going wheel to wheel and says George and Perez going wheel to wheel behind us George Roth all around the outside he's still there as we send it late up the inside of Lewis Hamilton catching that then and on the opening corners of this spring race we've gone from ninth to third Hamilton at the end of lap one is back up our inside and George Oh, what an offline has flown past him. And now George, have a look at this bit. Lewis comes back, Lewis goes back up the inside. We hold the line around the outside. This Qatar track is god tier. People say that about Jeddah. Qatar is unbelievable. The outside line, you can carry so much more speed. And round the outside, we bend off Lewis Hamilton. As we stay into P4, into P3. Now Hamilton back on the back of us now. Up the inside, goes again like he did on lap one. This time he's further up the inside of us. We try and hold it up the inside. We cut into his slipstream now. As we head down the very long pit straight. As we try to find a way through. But George has gone to our side. We're going to just about make it free wide of the inside. Or try to. George keeps it pinned round the outside. And he has done both me and Lewis there. Fair play. What a move. And now Hamilton is on the back of us. Up the inside of that slight right hander. And he's caught a snap in there. And Hamilton is through. And now the floodgates have opened as we start to fall backwards the pace of our car catching up with us Perez is through and now Alonso is on the outside as Verstappen is boxed in right behind us we hold it ahead but we've lost two positions as this is Alonso and Verstappen going wheel to wheel now this is Perez on the back of Lewis Hamilton into turn one he ought to run the outside someone's smoking and it's Fernando Alonso who has slowed down that Mercedes engine has gone bang in the back of that Aston Martin and he's going to have a very very long Sunday it's the Spaniard up the inside tried Max 
at the end of lap 5, he's at the inside line now, as we fly down the pit straight, Max has got the job done, the Ferrari there, we're going to try that off the line, round the outside, but we're breaking a bit early, and now the Ferrari of Leclerc is up our inside, we fend around the outside, and we stay ahead, but Max is gone, and now Leclerc up the inside, we try and hold it around the outside, and we do, the outside line on this track is so much better than the inside, nowadays we're going to the final corner at the end of lap 6, we've run a little bit wide, and now here comes Charles Leclerc, as we try and cling on into the points, here in the sprint, but Leclerc is through on one lap later, lap 7 of this 10 lap sprint, through goes Gasly, taking our point off of us, as there is Magnussen on the outside of us, we hold him, but we have fallen out of the points, Carlos Sainz wins the sprint, after coming off the back of a win in Japan, we hold around the outside of Magnussen, who's nearly dropped it as we head to the line. Magnussen is closing, Magnussen is closing up to the line. We've just done it on the line. We just about beat Magnussen, we dropped like a stone once the pace of our car caught up with us. And you can see the gap between me and Magnussen literally blink and you miss it across the line. So let's go to the race. Welcome back to Qatar. Laseo International Circuit is our venue, famous for races on two wheels through the years. Its F1 bow saw a Hamilton win. Who takes the flag today? The Sail International was built for two wheels, but today we race on four. It's a fast flowing track, 3.3 miles, 16 turns, just the one DRS zone, but it is a long straight and you can expect overtaking. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. Just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Norris, Hamilton, Verstappen, Leclerc, Gasly, Brown, Magnussen, Ocon, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Fittipaldi, Joe, De Vries, Bottas, Sargent, Sonoda, Sargent. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. We welcome once again to the commentary box, Anthony Davidson. And how do you mentally prepare yourself for the rush of the opening lap? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. So then it's going to be a one stopper starting on the soft to go into the mediums. 29 laps ahead of us then as we come onto the grid for the second ever time here in Qatar. Here we go then to the five red lights for the Qatar Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go once again just like this bit we've got a great start of the Ferrari. Has in. We've gone straight for the middle of them again. Hamilton, we've gone to the outside, we're up into P4, we're ahead of the Red Bull, we're going to go to the inside of Lando, Lando tries to hold it, we have a little wobble, we force him off the track, and we are up into P3, it's just like it was in the spring, copy and paste, but at the end of lap 1, we have the Red Bull on the inside, Lando on the outside, we're holding through the middle, we nearly get mugged there, but we stay out of George, leads the Grand Prix, Sainz has dropped back miles after the start, up the inside of us, guys, Max Verstappen, and does drop down as we break very heavily there, and nearly catch Lando out, as through this very tight section of the track, here comes Lando now, up the inside, 
Guys, Lando has been rocking down the straight. Once again, we're in the middle of a free wide sandwich. We've lost out to Lando, but still on the inside of Lewis Hamilton. We've stayed ahead of Lewis Hamilton and slowing down here. He's the man that took our points in the sprint. Pierre Gasly pulls off to the side of the track. He is out of the Grand Prix. Here comes Lewis Hamilton passes now. He's on the mediums. We stay. Well, he's trying to stay in his slipstream. Has been trying on it around the outside, but Lewis is through. And next up is the two Ferraris behind us. Leclerc. In the background there, Sainz trying to get his way back through after his poor start. After winning the sprint, Sainz is through and Leclerc, mm, cheeky, gets up our inside as well. As we try and get him back. But that is that. And now Bottas now pulling off. He's, what's he doing? He's slowing down. He's on the hard tyres, interestingly. As he's slowing down, he's pulling off and he's going to Narnia to pull off to the track to the skate road and just like that two have retired and all three engines on the grid apart from the Red Bull have popped and now in this weekend as we are battling now Esteban Ocon we battled Gasly the other Alpine in the sprint we're battling his teammate Ocon in the actual race we stayed ahead this was the most fun battle I've had on this game this year. Round the outside, me and Ocon, as we box now, we're neck and neck. We've managed to stay ahead for now. They're strolling in the background. Those in front got further away, but that was always going to happen. The start was a bit of a bonus. You can see though there, we have a very, very worn engine. That I thought could just get us through this. It didn't look that bad after quali and the sprint. As we just beat out Ocon. Hopefully this can get us to the end of the race. As we come out of the pits now. To finish the last 16 laps of this race on the medium compound tyre. Hopefully stay ahead of Ocon. And maybe get some more points. Though on to lap 14. Ocon. Up our inside, we hold it all the way round the outside at turn one. That turns the inside line for turn two, and we stay ahead there. The outside line, as Ocon now tries it, he catches the snapping. Ocon to the outside, Ocon can't get ahead. And he has to settle down and wait for another lap. That will come on to lap. 15 up the inside he tries again and once again we hold around the outside we're still there on the outside we've done a copy and paste I thought we did a lap before but this time Archon's cut his back and got on our outside and now still holding around the outside we're on the inside but this time Archon is through we stay with him now on to lap 16 now it's our turn up the inside we go we force him wide and we're back in front of Ocon this was a great battle a couple of laps later in the background being caught there by the two Astons back up the inside goes Ocon we keep it pinned low all the way around the outside Ocon gives us a squeeze we squeeze him back into turn two and we retake that position once again, here he comes now, up the inside of turn 4, I think that is, we hold it round the outside. And now as we come into the, the final couple of corners, we've gone a bit slow there, and Ocon has got to power inside, there is Lance in the background, up the inside goes Ocon. We hold around the outside, but now we might be left vulnerable. As now, sorry, but on goes Ocon, and look at Lance. He gets it Alonso, gets the double slipstream up the inside. He's got me, and he's side by side with Ocon. And the Spaniard is recovering from that retirement in the sprint. He gets past both of us. 
as we just about stayed ahead of Ocon. Ocon now back up our inside once again. We keep it pin around the outside. We're still there on the outside. Ocon's still there at the inside. But we stay ahead again for now. Is now going down the pin straight. Lap 19. This Yes, this battle is still going. But this time Lance is past us. Ocon did start to pull a little bit of a gap after he re overtook us. Uh, we fend off Lance Stroll around the outside. He wanted to get in on the action between me and Ocon. We fell back a bit, but we eventually we did catch it back up and up the inside. We go into turn one, get the pace back off of Ocon. Ocon tries to hold it around our outside. He knows that's not happening. But now on the lap of at the end of lap 22, on to lap 23, Ocon's on the inside. This time though, just like we've done time and time and time again in this race, we hold around the outside, he pushes us off the track that time. We have the inside line out for turn two, and we have Pro and the engine is smoking. No, it was worn. We hold around the outside, but it's smoking, but we're still going. The engine hasn't popped, it may be smoking, but we're still going, so we're having engine trouble, and up the inside we go back up the inside of Ocon, this is Magnussen in the background, who's dropped it there, and now Olkenberg comes round, and he's T-boned his teammate, driven straight into the front of him, and fits of battle he's been caught up in it as well with Olkenberg, and Magnussen, he's got big damage there, it also might be damaged with Fittipaldi as well. Oh no. But now, on to lap 24. Our engine is still smoking. We're still going. Ocon is through. This time it looks like he is through. We tried to do the up and under. It didn't work. Ocon is through. But we're still here. Engine is still smoking. Up the inside we go of Ocon. Lance Stroll. Looks like he's run out of tyres and he's dropped back miles onto the final lap. Max Verstappen, he's back on the top step and he wins the Qatar Grand Prix just ahead of Charles Leclerc and George Russell. It's three different constructors on the podium and after the battle of the season we beat Ocon and we get more points as we finish P9. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw. giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So that's been your Qatar Grand Prix and an unbelievable race. Great battle between me and Ocon. Getting points in the end. Two points of great P9 for us. It looked like we may have been able to get more during the sprint and the actual race due to the starts. But ultimately our car's not there. And after a couple of laps you saw it did catch up with us. As we just went backwards. Bottas though and Gasly both retire. Max Verstappen leaves the World Championship one point ahead of Lewis Hamilton. It's just like 2021. Lewis Hamilton coming out of nowhere in this championship in the second half of the season. After how good Red Bull and Max were in the open half. We are peaked.
nine in the championship. I think if you remember back to Belgium when I was saying that we could really do with catching Lando, I don't think that's happening anymore. McLaren have really pulled their finger out, just like real life, and they're doing very well at the minute, and I don't think we're going to be able to catch them. Unfortunately, before the season's done, we're still sixth in the standings. You can see here how worn our engine was the ICE, so we're going to have to take a new one of them for the next race in america at kota where we have another sprint weekend very long track as well for a sprint race but we'll see what happens there it might be as good as here this track though before i recorded this i'd only done about three laps when the game first came out and it is so fun i think it's up there it's one of my favorite tracks i think it is a god tier track it has to be like people say that about jenna but jenna i don't see the god tier it's rubbish Qatar is brilliant we go to kota next in america for another sprint race and i'll see you there goodbye